So when you think about folks that have come um, uh, out of incarceration, which is not my area of expertise, other than I'm a human being, and I want to see people be successful. And if I have an opportunity to clear a path, right, and they have the desire to get on the path that's going to help them be successful, I, I have an obligation to do that. It's an investment, but we've been looking at it also as far as what employers are seeing. But you just imagine if you are someone who is applying for this job and constantly hearing no and going to various places, that's crushing. And so that breaks their spirit. It breaks the family spirit. And so that goes back to the humanity that we were talking about. It's the right thing. And if we keep them in mind, that, that's key. They see this as a high risk endeavor in most organizations. And so I think working with those organizations to be able to figure out how to mitigate some of the perceived risk, much of it is, is not actually a reality, is really critically important, as well as aligning incentives with frontline managers. So if you have someone who's out in a marketplace recruiting, being able to incentivize them to choose someone maybe from a barrier background um, versus someone that is just more of a known entity is just critically important. We have the ability to solve our, our societal issues if corporate America would treat the mission equally as important as their return to their shareholders. If you had the Apples and Microsofts of the world holding a mission equally as important as, as their profits and their return to shareholders, we would look so different as, as a country. You may have somebody who just doesn't know any better than to ask somebody, well, were you previously, you know, were you, were you like, did you come from the prison program or something like that? Nobody calls it that, but you will have people in a large organization that might inadvertently say something like that and offend somebody. So you need to, you need to definitely train your personnel. You definitely need to make sure that they're prepared and that they understand like what emotional intelligence is and what emotional intelligence is in regards to how you engage your workforce. five trusted voices out of that 10,000 go back to their respective communities and say, hey, I, I know like historically what banks have, have been in our community and I am working there and I feel empowered and, and it's a great opportunity. Um, you know, it's just gonna mean way more than whatever we're gonna spend in earn media, right? To try to advertise for, for a position. So again, I think really um, relationships um, with, with um, critical community voices is, is imperative. I think it's important to, to make sure you go to the right channels to do the outreach, right? So it's the nonprofit organizations in the local community. It's also um, advertising, right? Because I may think from an underserved place that I don't have the chops to work for a JP Morgan, but if JP Morgan says, you know, I hired 10,000 people from your neighborhood, all of a sudden the change in my mindset makes you apply, right? And that's a way to sort of build that talent pool.